Good afternoon. It is uh, Friday the 11th of December. Today's coffee is French vanilla. So let me take a break here, go run and make that cup of coffee, and we'll see what we think. All right, I'm back. Very French vanilla. Very French vanilla. Now, I will admit, it is no international coffee's French vanilla. It has a little lighter hint of vanilla, but you can definitely taste the French vanilla in the coffee. All right, folks, I got a couple of Christmas cards, and one of those came from Melinda Barfield, which many of you know. With that. Isn't that gorgeous? But many of you know her as Super Belleza One. Belleza? Belleza One? You know, Melinda, I see that name and I think, man, I hope she doesn't win the gifts because I can't pronounce it. <laughs> but it's a beautiful card. Absolutely stunning with the three wise men on it, and um, she had a couple of positive things to say in it. I'll just leave it private. Okay, and the next card that I got came from Valerie Ackerman. And this is that card. Look how pretty that is. Such a pretty snow scene. And basically inside says, in the days of December, it's nice to remember special friends like you. Season greetings. You know, I have to tell you, it's nice to get cards. It really is. But you know, <laughs> I'm going to admit something. I'm a slacker when it comes to cards. I'm just now getting mine written out to send out. I mean, good grief, you'll probably get them after Christmas. Sorry. It's just so many things, not enough time. All right. I did get a couple of um, acquisitions. And I am going to show you these because these are something that I use a lot of times on my shawls, stoles that I keep for myself. And I wear them more in December than I do any other time. But what they are are these little bitty hair clips and you can see they've got the pretty little gems. These are butterflies and there's that and then there's one that's a little iridescent. A couple of iridescent ones and one that is kind of a light amethyst. And then, of course, there is the gold. And if I remember correctly, the way these were worded on Amazon, they were probably about $9 and um, $10. I believe the way they were worded were diamond butterfly hair clips or hair um, claws, so I did get those, and then I also got some, now these are more barrettes, and these are a little more, have that vintage look to them, with the silver and the sapphire, these all have like sapphires, you know, they're, they're not real sapphires, but, um, they are very pretty, and it came with a pack of five of them, don't you love that squishy noise? I'm going to open this one up to actually show you 
it out of the bag because this is the one that I saw that absolutely stunned me and got me to buy. And these are basically, you know, just uh, where you squeeze and then they open up. And generally I just put that through somewhere in my shawl and pin it on so it doesn't fall off. When I wear my shawls normally it's like when our ladies gather for lunch, which we haven't done because of new regulations. You know, all these regulations that keep coming up. Where the governors keep restricting us down further and further and further. Yeah. Pennsylvania starting tonight at midnight. We have some new restrictions. No indoor dining out. We now have to do carry out or take out or delivery. Which annoys me. You know, because that really hurts the restaurants. Um, but hey, it is what it is. Then I stopped at the Dollar Tree because Jane needed a bag. We're collecting all those scarves and those hats for the kids at the Meadows. So I need to gather them in bags so that they can be handed directly to the gals. I did get some prayer cards and I kind of wanted to see these and they're just very nice little cards it says today's prayer and then it has you know the the scripture for you to go to I just thought that was something different something nice to see so along with my plastic bag I also got a planner I'm starting to work on some things for next year I've been working on some things for next year have them in mind but I wanted to get a little more organized why I told you about writing the grant for the prayer shawl I didn't double check and normally I do that I was sending it all off for my husband to print it <coughs> sorry about that because this year instead of being able to send it online we have to print it out and we have to print out 11 copies as well as the original for the foundation when they meet in January when we were printing it out my husband happened to look down and he said Do you know the exemption certification expired in March of 2020 <laughs> I didn't even check that so I have to get the new exemption certification and uh, hopefully they can get it to me today or by Monday because it has to have a nice postmark of the 15th what happens when you late to wait to the last minute to print them out I was having them printed out so we could mail them today and that just didn't happen stuff happens okay now here let's insert the winner of yesterday's bamboo silk yarn and here is that video Okay, we're ready for the drawing for yesterday's yarn, which was the green bamboo and silk. Got the URL in there, filter duplicate users, and let's get the comments. There were 99 comments, so now let's move over here and pick a winner. Okay, here we go. Joyce Rawson, you are the winner. It says, I would love that bamboo green silk yarn. 
My favorite color is green. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, my favorite color is green, too. <laughs> All right, Joyce, if you will send me an email to ScrapTasticYarns at gmail.com, letting me know where to send your price, I will get that out to you as soon as possible. All right, everybody, have a great day. Bye. Congratulations, Joyce. So, Joyce, once again, send me an email to ScraptasticYarns at gmail.com where you want me to send your prize. Now, we're moving on to the Scrap Buster Stitch Along. And today's stitch is a variation on the grit stitch. Now, this is my favorite grit stitch, this one in the blue. And that is the one that has the slip stitch and then the um, half double crochet in the next stitch. I really like that one. This one is just fine as a grid stitch. It's really dark in this purple, and I should have thought about that for the filming. But this stitch is actually a single crochet and then a double crochet in the same stitch. You'll skip one. And then you will put a single and a double crochet in the next stitch. And this forms this grid stitch. So um, that's the video next. And I keep looking over here. You guys are over here. It's been that kind of day. What can I say? <laughs> so um, enjoy the, st the stitch. Tomorrow there will be another variation on the grid stitch. And then we'll move on to some other stitches. But um, I thought it might be nice to have the grit stitch all together so you can see the different variations in it and decide which one you like the best. All right, that's it for today, everybody. Be kind to one another, love one another, and let's pray for one another because we could all use it. Or light candles and send healing thoughts out into the world. All right, everybody have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye. I almost forgot today's giveaway. Whoops, my bad. It is two skeins in lovely shades of blue, or slightly periwinkle. This is periwinkle by Red Heart. It is a full, it's like periwinkle. And I believe this is one of the larger skeins. It's out of my stash. Nope, seven ounces. Sorry. And this is Sky Mix by Stitch Studio. Um, Nicole Stitch Studio. And this is now something you can only get at uh, Premier Yarns. Used to get it at AC Moore. They closed. So, these two are the skeins that are going to be in today's giveaway. It is open worldwide. You have to be 18 years old or older. You must be a subscriber. And yes, I do check. If you cannot receive mail from the U.S., you are not able to enter into this giveaway. And I would have to pick another winner. Um... YouTube does is not sponsoring this, nor any yarn company. I am sponsoring it. I am not responsible for any duties or taxes that you may have to pay for this. And I believe the value is around $5. So, there's that. I would appreciate it if you would like this video, share it. Um, it does help with the algorithm so that um, it can be seen by more people. Uh, did tell you you had to be a subscriber and I do check and we are going to use two words today and those two your words are no hate n-o-h-a-t-e no hate that must be in your comment down below to be eligible for these two skeins of yarn now, um, I know these are small giveaways. Um, that's because I appreciate you guys. And, uh, you know, I'm giving a little bit here, a little bit there. But I will tell you, I am filling a box 
for a giveaway in January. And it's going to be a full box of yarn. So you look forward to that. So we have one more day in the Days of Giving for the D-Stash giveaway. But this is day 11's giveaway. Tomorrow there will be two more, maybe three more, maybe four more. I don't know. But there will be more yarn tomorrow. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's it. And now on to the stitch. We are ready to start on the next variation on that grit stitch, and I've joined with a slip stitch. Now normally, after you have your base row, um, for this grit stitch, you would chain one, count that as your first single crochet, and then do a double crochet into this. But I think it's confusing when you go to the second row. So I actually just go ahead and do a single crochet into that stitch, followed by a double crochet into the same stitch. You're going to skip this next stitch and then into this one. You will put a single crochet and a double crochet. You will skip the next stitch, go into this next one, the single crochet and a double crochet. Skip the next, go into the next single crochet and a double crochet. Then you would skip this one single and a double crochet. Skip the next into this next stitch. You'll put a single stitch and a double crochet. When you get to your last stitch you are only going to put in a single crochet. Then you're going to chain one and turn. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this next row is the repeat row and you will do this every single row for this piece, for this grit stitch. Now normally they tell you, like I said, the chain one counts as a single crochet. I don't like the way that works, so I go ahead and put another single crochet in and then I do my double crochet. Skip the next stitch, single crochet, double crochet. Skip the next single crochet, followed by a double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next single crochet, double crochet into the next. Skip the next single crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. Again skip, single crochet, double crochet into the next stitch and on my piece I've come to my last one. So a single crochet. Chain one and turn. Now for those that are left-handed let's see if I can handle this left-handed. Got to get some yarn up here, folks. Okay. So, it is a single crochet followed by a double crochet into the same stitch. Skip the next stitch, single crochet, and double crochet into this next stitch. Then you're going to skip the next stitch, single crochet, and followed by a double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next 
single crochet and a double in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, single crochet, followed by a double crochet. I'm going to grab some more yarn. Skip the next stitch, single crochet, and a double crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch and we're at our last stitch. Single crochet, chain one, and turn. And that is it for this version of the this grit stitch. Now you see this does create a nice little fabric, but I really prefer the slip stitch with the half double crochet. I think this just gives it a much nicer appearance, but this one has its place as well. So I will see you again tomorrow for the next stitch.